Ahora pasamos de Nissan a Subaru, otro fabricante japonés, para hablar del Legacy 2015 con Tom Dahl, el presidente y CEO de Subaru en Estados Unidos. Well, Tom, thank you very much for having us here with Subaru and the Chicago Auto Show. Congratulations first of uh, 2013 results. Amazing for Subaru, right? And then uh, you're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Legacy here in the U.S. That is correct. We had a fantastic 2013. And actually, the last five years for Subaru have been great. We've we've been growing at a compound annual rate of almost 18% a year. In the last two years, we've grown at a 26% rate. And obviously, vehicles like the Outback, Forester, Crosstrek, our crossovers have done a very good job. But now we want to concentrate some of our effort on expanding our business in the legacy, in the sedan segments with Legacy and with our Impreza. Yeah, because uh, as you were saying in your presentation, a lot of people uh, think of Subaru Adventure, of all-wheel drive, like high-performance cars. But this is uh, another aspect of the company that is also very good, very good offering for the customers. Absolutely. Uh, we, we have a, a tremendously loyal customer base. And in fact, if you, if you look at the uh, owner retention figures that come out, We have a, a tremendous loyalty with our sedan buyers. Now our question becomes is how do we leverage the loyalty that we've got in the sedan segment to further expand the appeal of our vehicles. And we think with this new styled legacy and with the appointments and the way that it drives that we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, and uh, Subaru also, because of uh, the all-wheel drive thing and uh, all the performance of roading, it's been uh, more popular, let's say, in some states like the West Coast, like the Northwest, or like here in Chicago, where you were, uh, like today, where you need all-wheel drive, but not so much in uh, Florida or like other other part of the country, but you don't really think about that. But the all-wheel drive aspect of it is not only for of roading, right? Right, well, you know, it's kind of interesting you say that because... Yes, our traditional strong markets are the Northeast, the Northwest, the Rocky Mountain states, but believe it or not, the fastest growing state that we're growing in is California. California is now the largest state that we sell vehicles into, and we've increased our market share in the Sun Belt by almost uh, half a point to three quarters of a point, which is a lot. Yeah. So whereas before, we might have only been selling, say, 11 or 12 percent of the vehicles in the Sun Belt markets. Now we're up to 16, 17 percent in the Sun Belt markets. And we, our goal, obviously, is to grow that to 25 or 30 percent like most other manufacturers. Yeah. And uh, so the legacy uh, built in the U.S. for 25 years, right? That's correct. Started production in 1989 with the 1990 model. Wow, incredible. And uh, so a lot of all the, all the other good things that are in your car, like the amazing thing, the, the engine, the transmission, the, all that is in this car, but in a, a different packaging. That's right. Well, the, the uh, vehicle comes with a, a completely new engine, and it's got the next generation of our, our CVT transmissions um, for the automatic. So, yes, it, 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 it improves dramatically in terms of fuel economy. As I said during the presentation, it gets 36 miles per gallon highway. I believe the combined, we don't know the combined yet, but we're trying to get it at 30 or 31 miles per gallon combined city um, and highway driving. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, that's tremendous in a vehicle this size. Yeah, because it's big, right? Like you yeah, can accommodate five people very comfortably. With all-wheel drive, too, remember. Exactly. So, so the people have the added benefit of having that traction and control with that all-wheel drive provides and the safety element of it. And that's, that's priceless. Excellent. So uh, you say 2013, you sold uh, about 426,000 units? In 2013, we actually sold 424,683. Okay. Okay. So almost 425,000. <laughs> almost there. So I guess the big goal, the next goal is like half a million, right? Well, next year, our, our goal is, uh, is more modest, 460,000 vehicles, because One of the things we need to work on is, is, our, is our servicing capacity with our retailers. We've grown so quickly, and our units in operation have grown so quickly over the last five years. And we need to make sure that these, these customers that have purchased the cars have a great service experience when they come back. Yeah. So we're, we really need to, 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 for this year, to work with our, our retailers to make sure that they have enough capacity in the service side, so enough lifts, enough technicians, enough equip, service shop equipment, better waiting areas better amenities, better loaner cars, so that when these customers come back, we can give them the full the, service, the, yeah. the, 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 the Subaru experience, which is the love that we talk about, which is what makes Subaru Subaru. So we want to make sure that we get that across to people. Yeah, well, judging for the past uh, five years, I think uh, you're going to do a, a great job in the next five. So thank you very much you very and much. congratulations. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate it. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.